Kevin Frankie is going after Jody Hildebrandt. He's going after her money. And Kevin's attorney, Randy Kester, filed paperwork asking the judge for restitution from Jody Hildebrandt for what she has done to his kids. Timing is everything. Kevin's attorney filed this paperwork after Jody Hildebrandt listed her house for sale for $5.3 million. Both Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt are currently sitting in prison waiting for their sentencing, which takes place in February of this year. They both pled guilty to four counts of child abuse. Daily Express writes, Ruby Frankie's husband Kevin has requested compensation payments from her former business partner Jody Hildebrandt for the two children who suffered at Frankie's hands. Kevin Frankie is calling for Hildebrandt's assets to cover medical and therapeutic bills needed for their two abused children's treatment. The children have been through many assessments, medical care, and overall wellness treatments to recover from the horrific abuse, but they need long-term care due to years of suffering. Hildebrandt should have enough resources for restitution while she still has her assets, but these could be at risk of being sold off. Frankie is trying to stop this from happening so he doesn't end up with a huge medical bill, reports ABC affiliate KTVX. According to the court documents, the Crime Victims Restitution Act states that the child victims are entitled to restitution to cover any and all ongoing treatment of these injuries. It's reported that Hildebrandt has enough assets and resources, including real estate, financial accounts, and other personal property to pay for restitution. Frankie found out on January 4th that Hildebrandt had put her property in Ivins, Utah up for sale, a place where the crimes were committed against the children. Frankie's lawyer believed believes the kids should get a share of any profit from the sale of the house listed at $5.3 million. The court documents reveal that when the case wraps up around September 2024, the cost for child care will fall on the children and Kevin Frankie. However, this would be an unfair outcome, putting undue financial strain on the victims of the terrible crime. The court papers ask the court to stop Hildebrandt from selling, getting rid of, hiding, or transferring the property before she's sentenced in February. Court has to balance not only these financial resources of Hildebrandt in determining restitution, or what the restitution amount should be, but also the burden that this would impose in light of Hildebrandt's other creditors and financial obligations. So it's a little bit of a test there for the court. The paperwork Kevin's attorney filed says it's generally undisputed that these children will require long-term professional care, certainly extending beyond the time of sentencing, which is February 20th, 2024, and likely for many years thereafter. Once the juvenile court matter concludes, approximately no later than September 2024, the cost for this ongoing critical professional help will fall upon the children and their father. The paperwork also states Utah is currently paying for the children's therapy and any type of medical care because they're in the care of the state. This paperwork goes on to list some of Jody's assets, including her real estate, automobiles. She also owns a side-by-side and at the time of the commission of these crimes had financial accounts, including but not limited to checking, savings, CDs, 401k, and other accounts either in the name of the defendant or being held by other third parties or entities, including, but not limited to, Pam Botcher and Connections. Pam Botcher is Jody Hildebrandt's longtime friend and business partner. Pam is also listed as the president of Connections on their website. Ruby actually called Pam back in August when all of this went down to go pick up two of her kids, and they were actually with Pam when police found them. We've all seen that body cam footage. The paperwork also mentions the listing for sale of the home of Jody Hildebrandt, listed at over $5 million. It says it's assumed that there is significant equity in the home, however, without knowledge of the existing mortgage. Petitioner is not aware of the exact amount of anticipated profit. However, to the extent there is profit, the children should be entitled to a share sufficient to provide restitution for any and all ongoing expenses that they incur as a result of the defendant's crimes against them. The court further orders that the defendant or her representative are hereby restrained from signing, disposing of, concealing, transferring said property until the sentencing of the defendant, which is set to occur on February 20th. They need the court to act quickly on this. Why? 
because the defendant, they say, is in the process of assigning, disposing of, or concealing the property, and there is probable cause of losing the remedy of restitution unless the court issues the writ and or the temporary restraining order. And that order would stop Hildebrand from selling or transferring any of this property in any way until restitution can be resolved. People online are saying, seriously, he's suing her? He's at fault too. He should be ashamed of himself. Sue your wife. Sue yourself. Why can't he sue Ruby too? Because that will impact Kevin. He's gross. I hope he never gets full custody. I wonder if they'll ever forgive their dad for not protecting them. He should have been charged also. Ruby needs to be included in this lawsuit as well. She has money from YouTube, her assumed profit of monies gained in the equity of any investments, bank accounts, value of the family house. Why does the father get the money? Why does the money not go directly to the children in a trust fund? Go away, Kevin. You didn't protect your kids from all the crazy before Jody. Before Ruby and Jody were arrested for child abuse, Kevin was estranged from the family for over 13 months. During that time away from his family, Kevin was attending a men's group through Connections. During those groups, he was being downgraded and diminished and uh, told how bad he was and that he needed to repent and that the best way to repent was to not infect his family with his, uh, with his problems. And, uh, you know, so that's why you need to stay away. He wasn't the only one in those men's groups that was undergoing exactly what he was undergoing at her suggestion and recommendation. Ruby and Kevin Frankie claimed they were brainwashed by Jody Hildebrandt. Kevin's attorney, Randy Kester, told Court TV that he was brainwashed and forced into isolation from his family. And Ruby's attorney put out this statement on behalf of Ruby. Jody Hildebrandt systematically isolated Ruby from her husband, her adult daughter, and extended family. Ruby believed that Jody had the insight to offer a path to continual improvement, but Miss Hildebrandt took advantage of that quest and twisted it into something heinous. Ruby Frankie is a devoted mother that was led astray. We knew that Jody does this. We knew 14, almost 15 years ago that she's already done this to me. And people saw and people witnessed and did nothing. I understand why the public is focusing on Ruby. It's Ruby's children. But all of these, these theories and these modalities and these, these parenting ideas, that all comes from Jody. That's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on everything? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. See you next time.